Hey all, my name is Luke. I make bags and also have a boat project going on, but today I'm here in the sewing shop to show you the tote. So this is uh, the prototyping process for this new bag, which is gonna be an addition to the line of seam sealed products. So this is gonna be the drop liner tote. And here you can see the medium size, and this is in white Cuban fiber. Here's a small in blue Cuban fiber. And like I said, these are earlier prototypes. I'll go grab the one that I've been using now to show you the more up-to-date features. So here's the one that I've been using for the last few weeks. And uh, this is the medium size. So it's got this pocket here, which does have a little bit of three-dimensionality to it. Eurotech zipper with a zipper garage there. And then on the other side is this pass-through pocket, which can be unzipped at the bottom to be used for rolling luggage. So, you know, you can stash this on the handle of your rolling luggage. And like I said, the inside is seam sealed. So it's just two pieces of fabric that are seam taped after they're sewn together. And it's just one big cavity on the inside. So that's the one downside of seam taping stuff. It does make it more of a pain to put in interior pockets. So I'm trying to have the organization be on the outside and also just keep the bag simple. Uh, and the only strap that I have right now is this one inch strap with adjustable G hook on one side and a set length G hook or non adjustable on the other side. And the whole idea is that you can zip the bag shut. And this is a number 10 Eurotech zipper at the top here. And then pull tight on the uh, adjustable handle and then you can kind of make it into this little you know bucket shape and the reason that the bottom width is like this is because i'm working with some scrap that comes from north sales this is the edges that they trim off of all the sails once they're being put together in the final assembly stage so this whole bag basically was designed off the width of the cutoffs that i get from north sales and these G hooks that I have right now, they do have a problem. Uh, they slip a little bit when they're not supposed to. So there's a couple ways to fix that. I could get some thicker webbing. Um, that's just like a more high quality, durable uh, Cordura webbing, but you know, it's really expensive. Or we could find a different G hook that doesn't slip. Or uh, like I've been doing with this prototype, I just flip it upside down so that the uh, the adjustability doesn't really kick in because it's pulling against it in the right way. So anyway, that's just what I've been doing on these drop liner tote bags so far. There's gonna be three sizes, small, medium, large. Like I said, this is the medium. The large sits about yay tall. And uh, yeah, I think they're pretty handy. You know, they are kind of narrow, so they're not meant to be a replacement for a laptop bag or something like that. Cause if you put a weight in it, it kind of falls over, so. You know, this is just supposed to be like a high quality beach tote that you could fill up with ice and drinks, or just be sure that whatever you set it in a puddle or whatever, nothing's gonna get wet on the inside because it's seam taped. So anyway, I just wanted to keep this video short and uh, just give you a look at this drop liner tote bag prototyping process. And if you have any comments about what could make this bag better without adding too many bells and whistles, please drop in the comments below. Uh, so thanks for watching.